In this video, we'll be introducing the main functions of Insta360 Stitcher, the dedicated stitching software for use with photos and videos captured by the Insta360 Pro. You can import image files here. Here you can see details about your imported files. Once you have selected the files to be stitched, you can set the basic settings on the right side of the screen. First choose the content type you want to export. If the original files are in a 16 to 9 aspect ratio, then only monoscopic videos can be exported and the content type is automatically set to monoscopic. If the original files are in a 4 to 3 aspect ratio, you can also export stereoscopic or 3D panoramic videos in a 1 to 1 aspect ratio. For content type, you can choose between monoscopic, stereo with the left eyes panorama on top, and stereo with the right eyes panorama on top. There are several stitching modes to choose from. Optical flow, in-camera template, scene-specific template, and PT GUI template. You can also choose to turn on low-light optimization depending on your content. Gyroscopic stabilization for leveling the horizon of your video can be toggled here. You can opt to use hardware decoding and choose how many of the original files should be decoded this way. The maximum number of files that can be decoded using hardware decoding will depend on the performance of your computer. For high performance computers, all six files can be decoded with hardware decoding. Otherwise, remaining files will be decoded with software decoding. Hardware decoding can raise the exporting speed of the stitching process but it's a heavy-duty process and is recommended for use only on high-performance computers. Please note that this function is not available when exporting videos with a resolution higher than 4K by 4K. Once you've configured your settings, you can preview your content simply by clicking here. If you're stitching a video, you'll have to choose a frame for preview. There is a cutting feature for videos. You can drag the bar or input an exact time to choose the start and end point of the video content that you'd like to stitch. You have the option of choosing a preset resolution or inputting your own. You'll need to input a frame rate and bit rate within the permissible range. You can choose the save location here. Now you're ready to add the files to the batch list or you can hit the Stitch Now button to start stitching right away. You can keep track of ongoing tasks in the processing list. Once the stitching is complete, the files will be moved to the completed list. You can see the operations log by pressing Ctrl T. Should you encounter any problems using the Insta360 Pro, you can contact our support team and send us a screenshot of the log so that we can quickly locate the problem. Along with Stitcher, image files captured on the Pro can also be stitched together using third-party software. Open AutoPano Giga. Click on the upper left-hand corner to add the Pro's six image files. Click Image Properties to configure the lens properties. Under Image, set the lens type as fisheye and focal 35mm EQ as 10.57mm. Then click OK to confirm. Click Detect on the upper left hand corner and the software will automatically stitch based on the configuration set. After a moment, the output will appear on the right. Users can hit Edit in the preview area to adjust the content before exporting. Open Auto Pano Video. Click File at the top, then choose Import Videos to add the Pro's six original files. Find the Stitch function. Set the model as Lens Model. Click the Stitch button in the bottom right and set the lens type as Fisheye and Focal 35mm EQ as 10.57mm. Once the stitching is finished, 
there will be a preview area in the upper right hand corner. Hit the zoom button to preview stitching effects before exporting. Open PT GUI. Click Load Images under Project Assistant and add the Pro's six original image files. Cancel the camera slash lens data pop-up and uncheck the box with automatic use EXIF data from camera if available. Select full frame in fisheye lens type and set focal length as 10.57 millimeters. Then click Align Images at the bottom. The software will automatically stitch based on the configuration set and a preview area will pop up. Users can use PT GUI's editing features before exporting their panoramas. If you need to export a PTS template for additional use, please click the File option at the top and then hit Save As to save a local copy. Open Video Stitch. Click File, then Open Media on the top and add the Pro's six original files. Click the Window option on top and select Calibration. Under Automatic, set FOV as 200 degrees and then click Calibrate. Because the Pro's image files are already synchronized, you can directly cancel the pop-up window asking about whether to synchronize. After Video Stitch finishes processing, you'll have an auto-stitched image. Under Window, click Stabilization and Orientation, and then Adjust on Current Frame to adjust the angle of the preview image on the right. When you're finished adjusting, hit Process. Configure your export settings and then hit process now to get your final panorama. Make sure to subscribe to our channel and like us on Facebook for the latest updates about the Insta360 Pro.